Hello and welcome back. I I am not doing well today. Immediately when I opened my eyes this morning, I knew that my good and happy feeling had disappeared. I felt like my soul dropped to the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> I hoped that my my happy feeling would have stayed with me longer than it did. I felt so good. I know it's still there because I can feel it. It's just the Schumann resonance is high today and that's probably what's going on. I had meditated, asked my guides to help me deal with this energy and to become positive as much as possible today. I kind of wanted to do a video on this so you'll know that I do this too, of course. My energy, not meaning my stamina energy, my light being energy is, is kind of low also. And all day today, I've been trying to do things to make me pep up. I plan on getting out of the house here in a minute and going to get a personal pan pizza. And I do know that going outside will make me feel better. It always does. Even though it's probably five or 10 minutes, it does make me feel better. And it's a pretty day, actually. Very windy, but pretty. I've been kind of going through TikTok videos because as you know, my TV broke and I watch little clips of things on my lap, not my laptop, well, my laptop, because it turned it into a desktop with two monitors. I kind of watch a couple of videos on that, listen to news. So many things catch my eye about different countries and stuff. And I'm like, oh gosh, I wish I was there. I wish that my journey has already started. It will get there eventually. I have faith in that. I just cannot wait. And for some strange reason, I promised not to get any more dogs because of the pain you go through when they pass but for some reason I'm craving two dogs long-haired chihuahuas actually <laughs> I don't know why but if I ever got another pet it'd be a tiny pet so it can go everywhere with me I'm not sure what else to do today while I was meditating I was trying to manifest my traveling and my um, my spiritual mission and I went through the process of imagining doing it and my YouTube growing so I can do it because that's how you manifest you imagine you let your imagination kind of create your manifestations that's how I got this apartment among other things as some of you know when last year got really bad I was talking about unaliving myself and the universe did step in on the day that I was going to do that. It stepped in and got me that job. Although that was kind of different manifestation, it was the universe and my guide saying, no, it's not time. But this is a different manifestation and I, I don't even know why I brought up the unaliving attempt, but maybe somebody there needs to know that are watching my video. I'm sorry that my attitude is kind of down. <laughs> I, and I don't want to be like that on YouTube, but at least you know that I go through bad times just like you and you've just got to hang in there and keep trudging on. It's very difficult. And my guides just now told me this too shall pass. <laughs> And this, this too will pass. I have faith in that. And the reason why I have faith in that is because I know I have good days. And that's one way for you to look at your bad situations also. They don't sit around there permanently. They do if you keep reminiscing in it. And that is something you're not supposed to make a permanent place to be. You have to get over that lump, that rock in the road, 
and start thinking positive to get out of that negativity. It's very hard. I, I know I've been there. It's very hard, but you have got to do it. And today I've been, I've been clawing to the surface. I'm sitting here saying, okay, wake up, go, go on. You could sit in this for a day, but tomorrow you can't be there anymore. The last time that you're there, the better it is. I could tell you that much also. I used to have depression and anxiety and I would just waller in it. Just thinking it was a permanent situation. It's there to stay. It's inherited. I'm doomed kind of thing. And now I'm like, God, what was I thinking? That's why I was depre depressed for so long. And that's why I had anxiety often. You have control of your emotions also. You really do. You have that power. You just have to want to do it. But know that you will have bad days. You will always have bad days. That's a part of healing, I guess. But I will say, speaking of healing, I know that we're supposed to heal through our trauma, get over the trauma that we have lived. This morning when I woke up, I was slightly negative, and I'm good at that. But I'm like, I thought I healed that. I thought I healed that. I have to do it again. I'll be 54 on the 19th of this month. It's like, I'm tired. I'm tired of healing and then it coming back and healing it again and then have it come back and over and over. When does it stop? You would think that once you healed it, it would go away. And I'm tired, I'm so tired. I just want to be happy. I just want things to be positive and I want it to stay that way. And yeah, sure, you can force your emotions to do that. That's not easy either. It's like you're faking your way through and then deep down you know that that trauma is still there and it will surface again and you have to start over again and heal it. I mean, how long does it take? Is this a lifetime process? When is it over? When do we become free? I want to be free. I really do. There are other things in my life that's hurtful. And during my last recent three happy days, I'm like, good, that pain has finally ceased. But it still lingers. It lingers. And talking about it out loud to you. I'm like, gosh, do I have to keep healing that too? I thought I did. Why does it keep coming back? If you heal it, it should stay gone. It's like a never ending process. But I do know for a fact that once you sit in one spot, meaning your house or your hotel room, whatever you're staying in, if you stay in it too long, your thoughts do get carried away. That's why we're supposed to walk out into the sun, barefoot, do whatever outside because you, you do rejuvenate. But sometimes it's hard to get out. And then once you come back in, it like starts again. I don't know if it gets better, but I will say that my soul, I feel like my soul is tired, <laughs> but I'm wrong because our soul is so powerful. Our, our souls are warriors and they do not allow the negativity to affect them. But we as earthlings tend to do that. And I'm trying so hard to find a way to heal. I do know that once I start my spiritual journey, somehow that will start taking effect more than it is now, the healing process. This getting to that point is hard. I had one video recently that went up to like 54 views and my other videos have not had that much. So it's like a roller coaster emotionally, it's like, Oh my gosh, it's taken off. Oh wait, no, it's not. <laughs> Maybe it'll pick back up. No, it's not. So that's another thing, getting excited, knowing that 
your YouTube is finally taking off and you can do things for yourself and other people and you know, you get so excited. And then the next day you're like, oh, that was short lived. Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> maybe the next day. Yes, my subscribers are growing, but not all of them are watching my videos and that's kind of a downer, but that's okay. That is okay, I'm grateful to have accumulated more subscribers and maybe one day and hopefully soon that all of my subscribers will be watching my videos I feel like I may be boring because I don't have that capability of carrying my phone all around in my dull apartment with me talking about the food I'm making and the drink I'm drinking and the makeup I'm wearing I'm not that type of person so I struggle on making content that is appealing and entertaining and exciting. Hopefully soon, maybe this summer, I can start on doing something different with my videos. I need my life to become more positive, more powerful, more energized, and hopefully soon I could do that. I haven't looked to see if there were any orbs around. I know that when I'm kind of down, that they're not as active around me. I still love them nonetheless. I'm gonna go ahead and end this now, and I apologize for the Debbie Downer video, but know that I'm not doing it to say, hey, I'm depressed today and bleh. I just want you to know that you're not the only one and there is a way to climb to the top again and be positive and I'm doing that and by tomorrow, tomorrow's another day, it's a new day and I will make it a better day. You'll see when I get off of work and do my video, you'll see I'm in a better mood again and if somebody is mean to me tomorrow, but I doubt it, nobody's mean to me. I love you guys tremendously and I get on here for you. I like communicating to you and with you in the comments. I still wish you were here or I was there and we could hug. And yeah, I'm going to send all of you love, light, and peace. Bye.